Hi everyone, it's Shannon Mutangre again. It's time for our Tips in 20 webinar. Uh, this month we're talking about content creation. Woo -woo. Uh, we here at McKinney and Associates um, believe that these webinars are a good way to help um, friends, colleagues, co-workers, and people in general do better and be better so that we hope um, you can use these tips we give you and put them into practice as soon as the webinar is over. You gotta stay to the end, can't leave before. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, when, as our production uh, person pulls up the presentation, I do wanna introduce Cedric Brown to everyone. Hey, Cedric. Hey, how y'all doing? Cedric is our new um, person here at the staff and he's my new producer for the webinars. So let's go. So this is his first time doing it, y'all, so be patient with him, okay? Are we good? Okay, hold on with us, folks. Okay, um, hopefully everyone is seeing it and we're good to go. Uh, so. Oh, yay, technology is working. Good thing, good thing. In today's world of constant interruptions, all of us can benefit from a few suggestions and tips to create a more productive writing environment. It might be early in the morning, late in the afternoon, or even in the middle of the night. You know, it's that time. That time when everything in your life seems to settle down, even if just for a little while or the night before it's gonna start all over again. When you make writing a priority in your life, like every other necessity, um, it becomes less of a struggle. Habits are easy to form and very hard to break. So you want to make writing every day, every day, a habit. You wanna set aside the same time every day so your brain will start to be ready to um, be in the the mindset of writing when you get in your space and speaking of space you want to pick a place that's right um, for you that's a good place for you to work you want to try to find a quiet corner or room with a door that you can shut and tune out the rest of the world a solid desk, an ergonomic chair, and any other basic necessities, necessities you need are a good idea. I had um, a friend that I used to work with. Um, he was based in Florida and our office was based in Baltimore. And he used to, um, he, in his home office, he had taught his children that whenever the door was shut, that meant daddy was working and he couldn't be disturbed. And so that's what you want to be able to set up in your home or wherever you're going to write that when people see this cue, they know don't disturb if you're in there working. Now, if noise is your problem, you want to be sure and invest in a good headset or some earbuds. You want to crank up the tunes and get to writing. Or if you're one of these people who needs peace and quiet to write, then you want to make sure that all noise is cut off. Everyone is gone, the dog, the cat, everyone is chill and you can write. Now, as a geek diva, this is something that is very hard for me to do and that is near and dear to my heart. But there is almost no situation where you can't turn off your phone for just an hour or two. Really. Tell everyone you're going, you're powering down and then shut it what? Down. No one's gonna be upset if you're not, if they can't reach you for about an hour. If social media is your time waster of choice, you're gonna have to do what? Shut it. Down. You don't have to check Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, 
and so forth and so on <coughs> excuse me every five minutes it's okay to do what power it down yes you don't want to lose valuable writing time on social media there are emergencies and then there are emergencies and this goes back to what I was talking about about shutting the door and shutting the room off um, you need to be able to tell the difference and learn when to prioritize and so do the people in your life Rior writing has to be a priority in your life writers write that's what make them writers get it so you want to be able to shut everything out and prioritize your life and your time so that you can focus on what the writing and remember it really is okay to tell people no or later or not right now or how about I don't think so okay and finally our last tip instead of losing all those great ideas to the chaos that is life carry a pen and notebook with you you want to always catch the inspiration when it strikes now this is where I get into trouble I used to, I have a pen and uh, a pad with me all the time and I'm steadily writing down keywords well you gotta do a little bit more than a keyword I'll never forget I wrote down something I don't know what it was it was blue a week later I went back and all I saw was the word blue I have no idea what blue referred to. Was it blue clothing, blue car, blue paint, blue house, blue dog, blue whatever? I don't know. So that idea is gone. Will it come back? Who knows? Do I hope it does? I guess so. <clears throat> but the point is, you want to write down just a little bit more than a keyword or two, at least a good note to help you remember what you want to think of. Um, you you got to catch the inspiration when you can I remember uh, my spouse and I were driving home and we pulled into the driveway and she ran into the house I'm running behind her thinking something's wrong I'm like what's going on and she's like get your camera out record me record this and she started playing on the keyboard um, a song had come to her inspiration for a song had come to her and she wanted to get it down and she didn't want to forget about it and so she got it and she was like, whew, thank you. I had been thinking about this and trying not to forget it. It happens to all, it happens to everyone. So we gotta, you know, get things down in some sort of tangible form so we don't forget them. You could have the next great American novel in your head, but no one will ever know because you could forget about it. Well, folks, this is the end of our chat today. It was more like the tips in 10 versus the tips in 20. Um, so I do want to remind you about our social justice chat, which is going to be next week, next Wednesday, October 5th. I expect to see y'all there. Um, you want to follow at MCKPR and the hashtag social justice chat on Wednesday, October 5th for our um, Twitter chat. We will be talking about crossing the personal and professional line in our conversation next week so you will want to be a part of that it's going to be really good and a whole lot of fun and so now folks it's time for the q a portion um and so please place your tray tables in the upright position and hand your trash to the attendants as they make their final pass through the cabin and don't forget to type your questions in the q a box okay and so um as cedric brings it back to me you know that we always have questions from Twitter hey everybody that um, you know we do a little bit of crowdsourcing so we have some questions from Twitter um, so let's see what's out there first question what if the time is never for me well then the writing is never for you again I can't say it enough writers write if you want to be a writer then you need to write the best way to write is to do it consistently every day uh, you can do a little every day or you can do a lot every day you want to write every day even if it's for 15 minutes it's your time where you can write you can focus you're getting it done 
those 15 minutes over the course of a month, you'll be amazed how much you get done. But you got to make it a priority or else it just won't happen. <laughs> Every day? Yes. Every day. How often, Cedric? Every day. Every day. Again, do you eat every day? Yes. Do you bathe every day? We certainly hope so. Do you write every day? You want to. That's how it's going to happen, folks. Oh, by the way, that's how it happened for me. What additional suggestions could you provide about forming habits? There's some urban myth out there that if you do something for two or three weeks straight, it becomes a habit. I don't know if there's an if there's an exact time that something becomes a habit. I think that's really different for everyone. I do know though that doing the same thing over and over and over again for a sustained sustained period of time does make it a habit. Whether it's two weeks, 21 days, 30 days, who knows? Do it every day and it will become a habit. Eventually you won't even think about it. You'll you'll start to think about when you don't do it that's when you know if it's, it's become a habit. What are some of the best platforms you recommend for sharing my writing? Wow, uh, there are lots of places looking for content, especially good content, well-written content, different, fun, creative content. Um, HuffPo, you can be a guest uh, contributor for HuffPo. They are always looking for guest contributors. Um, find writers or people or bloggers that write about similar topics that you do see if they have a guest blogger program um, or yeah program that you can contribute to um, you can also start your own blog start a tumblr blog really easy to do um, and you can start posting there and people can pick it up and tumble it and you can tumble their stuff and everybody can go tumbling together um, but really once you start writing and you can post to Facebook and then um, start pushing that out. And again, you just want to write, just write, and then push it out there, okay? As a social media manager, how do I shut everything off to write when it's my job to lead social media for my office? Well, first and foremost, if writing is a personal habit and social media is your job, you do social media from nine to five at your job, and you do writing from five to nine when you're not working. Um, you don't want to mix the two. You are, your writing is something that's personal, so you need to do it on personal time, not on company time. That's not fair to the company. You need to do your job when you're at work. That's what they're paying you for. So you need to find time when you're not at work to do those personal things such as writing, exercising, bathing, sleeping, eating, you know, those kinds of things. Well, that's our last question. Cedric, do we have any questions from the audience? Uh, nope, none today. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining us. Again, this is Shannon Mouton Gray for McKinney and Associates. It's been our pleasure to be with you today for our tips in 20. That was more like tips in 10. It was a little short today. I'll do better next month, I promise. Um, but we do want to thank you for this webinar on content creation. You can follow McKinney and Associates at our website, mckpr.com, and read our um, Just Communications newsletter. You can also find us online at Facebook, Twitter, Insta uh, YouTube, and SlideShare. I'm on Instagram, not McKinney. Uh, so don't forget to join us for our Twitter chat next week. Same bat time, same bat channel, 2 p.m. for our Twitter chat, uh, social justice chat. Thank you and have a great day.